So oh, I definitely do like uh, pine mushrooms fresh and I do have a bunch like I've already had a bunch from what I've been collecting have them fresh cook them up but uh, what I also like to do is I like to uh, slice them up and dry them for later on down the road so like in spring or summer I can have cream of pine mushroom soup or something and uh, when there's no pines around out there growing stuff like that um, so uh, what I'm gonna do here right here is so yeah, when it's early in the season, season and that, uh, and I know I can go out and get some more pines, um, this is what I like to do. But so first of all, we've taken our little brush, a little rubber brush here, and we brush them all off, brush them everywhere, get everything off there like that. And I've had cleaned them all up and everything like that. So now what we'll do is, uh, what you want to do is you want to keep as much meat as possible as you can. So what I do is I just shave this back just enough to expose the meat right there like I don't just cut it off like I do with chanterelles and that because uh, this stuff's even more valuable so you cut that off like that like that and then uh, a lot of the times I'll just take my knife and chop that there like that and then I'll slice the uh, cap with a bit of the stem there and also cut all the stem all by itself so what I'll do with the stem here first is uh, just cut them thin like that cut them on an angle sometimes like that that's what I like to do Oops. Oh. Oof. my uh, everything's moving down here <laughs> so there we go there we go then we throw them in the tray like that like that and then uh, what I like to do is just cut them like that I do them upside down, it's a lot easier. So we'll go like that. You don't want to have them really too thick because they take longer to dry and they can uh, go off on you sometimes. Let's cut that one down like that. That'll be an extra piece there. And we just cut these caps like that. And sometimes, you know, if you don't get it all off, there's a little pine needle or something on there. You just scrape them off with your finger or the edge of a knife or something. But there, that one's done. So we'll just lay those all out in here in the tray. You might have to get more trays with all these mushrooms. But that's okay, just more mushrooms. And then we'll just continue doing this until uh, we're finished. So as you can see, we got almost three full trays of uh, pine mushrooms here. Almost three trays there full, <laughs> which is cool. And then on top of that, I've got these uh, pines that I, I've been, um, what do you call it, dehydrating from my first batch here. And, and these things, when you slice them up like this, the, the smell just fills the room. It's just amazing what they smell like. It just, it's almost like air freshener. And then I've got also got these bleats that I've been um, drying out from a previous batch. It's coming out in another video pretty soon, but drying them out. So we're going to have lots and lots and lots of dried mushrooms around for uh, when we can really use them kind of thing. So that's pretty cool, eh? Pretty awesome. Pine mushrooms, pine mushrooms. 
Yep. Okay. Let's try doing something else. <laughs> So here we are again. Welcome to Kent's Kitchen and Cooking with Kent. Glad to have you back again. So what we're doing today is we're going to do a cream of pine mushroom soup. Never thought of it before, but here we go. I made the cream of chanterelle soup previously, so why not cream of pines? Oh, and this should be good. So let's just get on with that right now. So these have actually been sitting around in the tray for like three days and they're exactly the right dryness I like them for uh, doing the soup kind of thing. I was going to slice them all up and dehydrate them anyway, but uh, I've eaten some fresh already. So, but anyway, um, yeah, so this is, these are the perfect uh, consistency uh, in dryness for making the soup. So we're going to take, uh, make four, take four cups of these mushrooms all chopped up nice bite-sized pieces here we go four cups of nice uh, little pieces of uh, pine mushroom chunks yeah and I know in the chant uh, cream of chanterelle soup I only used two and a half cups of chopped mushroom but this one I, I realized in that one I could there was room for more mushroom so I'm I went all out and I'm doing four cups of the uh, chopped uh, pine mushroom here for the cream of uh, pine mushroom soup yeah so I think that'll be perfect so I don't want to uh, overpower the pine mushroom in any way so for the soup I'm only going to put um, in two green onions just uh, to kind of enhance the soup a bit and it'll all balance the blend but it actually calls for like I think it's uh, two cups of shallots or something but I don't want to like I say overpower the pine mushroom so I'm going to take these um, two onions here and chop them all up just like that and then we make the next step here so we got about two tablespoons of butter melted down in there I can't remember from last time but uh, hopefully it's not too much and then we just drop all those green onions into there just like that and then we just uh, cook them down and for a few minutes until they're the onions are all kind of translucent kind of thing We've got some on the counter there Woo. like that and that'll take uh, like two or three minutes or something and after those onions have been cooked over a bit of a low heat there in the butter for a couple minutes then you basically just add all your mushrooms this might be a lot of mushrooms I know but uh, I like a lot of mushroom in my soup so that's uh, two cups that's four cups <laughs> I think I need a bigger pot <laughs> Yeah, I just might do, but we'll cook those down for, uh, I don't know, maybe a, close to 10 minutes, maybe. We'll just see. When you're at about the halfway point, this is when you can add, actually add a bunch of salt. And it gets more of the moisture out of the mushroom as well. These mushrooms are shrinking down, even though they're pretty much dehydrated. Uh, they're still, they still have mo uh, water content. And they're shrinking and evaporating the water. So there, and also, like last time, I forgot. At this point, you can put in about, uh, oh, I'm thinking just a splash of uh, extra virgin olive oil. And then just keep mixing and cooking until these are all, mushrooms are all rendered right down though, exactly the way you want them. Another five or so minutes. So there we go. We've basically just slowly sautéed them down in the pot here until they've rendered all the water content out of them and they're just meaty, beefy uh, mushrooms is just left there kind of thing. So uh, they've shrunk down quite a bit too because uh, all the water's out of them now. So they're a uh, perfect consistency for, the, uh, for making the soup now. So basically, turn the heat off right now and uh, I know when I did the cream of chanterelle soup, it called for uh, four cups of um, of the soup broth, the chicken chicken bouillon de poulet, <laughs> chicken soup broth. But uh, with this one here, like I want a more uh, meaty, uh, like a more mushroom to soup ratio kind of thing. So what I'm going to do with this one instead of four cups. Ooh. Still a little warm there. Instead of four cups, we're only going to do uh, three cups. 
have a much more mushroom to soup ratio, which is what I like. So that's only three cups of the soup broth this time. There we go. And then we're just going to give it a little bit of a mix up here. And then what we do is we uh, turn the heat back on, bring it to a boil. And uh, when it's boiling, we turn it down to simmer and let it simmer for at least 10 minutes. Okay, she is coming to a boil now. She is coming to a boil. So, put the lid back on. I'm going to turn it down as low as I can possibly get it. As low as I can possibly make it go. And let it simmer for 10 to 15 minutes, kind of thing. So now it's been simmering for almost 15 minutes, actually. So now we're going to turn the heat right off and we're going to let it sit for at least 10 to 15 minutes before we add the cream because we don't want to scald the cream. So there. Okay, so that's been uh, sitting there cooling down with the heat off and the lid ajar there for at least 10 minutes. At least 10 minutes. So it's cooled down enough right now. So basically, first of all, this is where I want to add some pepper in here. And that way I won't forget. <laughs> pepper is a food group. And now another time I would put like garlic in here, um, a little cumin or something, you know, whatever, other spices and things, um, that kind of thing. Because uh, then I would already know what it's like and then I could just adjust it with different things. But making it very simplistic because I want to taste the mushrooms in the soup. So basically with the cream of chanterelle soup, I used four cups of chicken broth with uh, two and a half cups of chopped mushroom now in this one I only used three cups of chicken broth and four cups of chopped pine mushroom. So, um, and, and also with the chanterelle, the cream of chanterelle, it called for a half a cup of the cream. And you know, I like uh, heavier cream. It's supposed to be half and half, but I like the heavier cream. So that's, uh, I like it creamier. So on this one, I'm actually gonna put one cup in. Um, the last one tasted fine with uh, half a cup. But so I cut back a cup on the uh, chicken broth and I'm adding another half a cup of cream to this one. So hopefully it's a really, really creamy soup. It's going to be really chunky. There's a lot of mushroom in there, a lot of mushroom, but that's, that's the best way. That is the best way. So we're going to actually turn it on a little bit and warm it up a little bit more just cause, uh, could use a little bit more heat just a just a hint of heat on the bottom there until it starts to simmer and then it'll be perfect yep that is definitely warm enough now let's uh, let's plate this stuff now first we turn the heat off and uh, we shall plate it we shall plate it There we go. Doesn't that look absolutely scrumptious? Absolutely. Oh my God, it smells fantastic. Anyway, I gotta let that actually cool down for 10 minutes before I can eat it, because it's really hot. Well, it's definitely cool enough now to eat. Let's try this out. Oh my God. The mushroom flavor in the cream right away. Oh my God. And it's a very earthy, um, nutty, earthy, nutty kind of flavor. Oh, it's great. It's oh, the best mushroom soup I've ever had. Cream of mushroom soup the best and it is really chunky lots and lots of meaty beefy uh, pine mushroom in there mm. Mm. that is fantastic and those pine mushrooms are exquisite just exquisite if you've never had them before you gotta try them assuming of course you like mushrooms 
Wow, this is fantastic. And I came up with the right combinations with this, the, the chicken broth and the uh, amount of cream and everything and the mushroom, amount of mushroom. Yeah, it's, uh, that's about right, the way it should be. Mm. Oh my God, the flavor is amazing. It is indescribable and it is absolutely like heaven. <laughs> Mm. That is the best cream of mushroom soup I've ever had in my life. Mm. And it seems that pine mushrooms probably do make the best cream of mushroom. I know the Chantrell one's great. This is awesome. Awesome. Mm. Could be also that I got the right measurements on everything as well. But this is fantastic. This is fantastic. I'm gonna love polishing this off. This is so, so good. Anyway, I hope you always like our foraging and our cooking and everything like that and stuff. And I hope you'll stick around and just keep following us everywhere we're going, whatever we do. <laughs> okay, we'll talk to you real soon. Ciao for now. Okay, tally ho. Preserve, 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 preserve.